Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to create hatch patterns in Bluebeam Review. Hatch patterns can be used to fill in closed markups for example, rectangles, ellipses, and polygons, and measurements, like area and volume. Review comes preloaded with several default hatch patterns, and a hatch pattern editor allowing users to create their own patterns. To create a new hatch pattern, create a blank PDF by going to the menu bar and clicking on, File. Then select, New PDF. Now choose your desired layout. For this example we will use standard A4 size dimensions. Create a rectangle markup anywhere on your newly created PDF. In the properties of your rectangle markup, go to Hatch, which is visible, under the Appearance heading. Click on the Hatch drop-down menu. At the bottom, click on, Manage. The Manage Hatch Pattern Sets, dialog box appears. Click, Add. The Add Hatch Pattern Set dialog box appears. Select, New. Enter a name for the Hatch Pattern Set in the Title field. As you enter the name, the Hatch Pattern's file name is automatically populated in the Location field. To change the default location of this hatch pattern set, click the three dots on the right-hand side of the location field. Select the desired location or network folder. To save the location of this hatch pattern set, relative to your current profile, select Relative Path. Click OK. The Hatch Pattern Editor appears. At this point, you can add hatch patterns to the hatch pattern set, if desired. Click OK. You can discard the PDF created for this procedure once you have created a hatch pattern of your liking. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the How To series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics welcome your feedback to help us to improve. 